Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some uh, mountain weather. We're going to look at the storm track all the way through Christmas, and it's looking very good for parts of the West, especially the West Coast, California, up in the Pacific uh, Northwest. Let's start here at uh, Palisades Tahoe, formerly Squaw Alpine. Um, they're reporting six feet of snow in the last seven days up there. You can see that guy actually snow blowing, getting that uh, snow off uh, some of the surfaces there. Uh, and they've got more storms lined up. I mean, I was looking at this this morning. They they could see three or four additional storms between now and Christmas from Tahoe to Shasta all the way down to Mammoth. So uh, it's looking really good. In fact, we'll just go over to the, uh, the storm track here. Here's the big view out in the Pacific Ocean. And notice the storm track in yellow. You can see all these areas of low pressure lined up all the way back. So we've got one low right now coming out of California. That's the one that's snowing up there in Palisades and Mammoth and Tahoe. And this one will be moving into Utah and Colorado with a quick shot of snow, but it's pretty minor um, for Colorado anyway. Um, and then there's another low behind it getting ready to hit the Pacific Northwest. There's another low behind that. And then if I can move this, there's another low even further out there in the Pacific. So, again, there there's storm systems lined up on this storm track for quite some time. In fact, let's just take a look at the future position of the, uh, the snowfall here. Um, so let me just push this into Friday morning. Here's Friday morning. So that little low that came out, so that low that came out of California really kind of washes out as it hits Utah, Colorado, and uh, the Tetons with just light snow accumulations as it's uh, moving through. So light to moderate, maybe moderate in some cases, but um, there it goes. And then it's gone dry on Saturday across the board, unless you're up in the Pacific Northwest. So this is Saturday morning right here. Um, heavy snow up there in the, in the Pacific Northwest through a Whistler and then even snow into the interior of B.C. And All right, let's go into Sunday morning right here. That low pushes snow into Schweitzer, northern Idaho, northwest Montana, begins to drop down. And you guessed it, towards color, towards uh, California. Here is Monday morning right here. Snow in Shasta, snow all the way up into Washington State, snow in northern Idaho. Here is Tuesday morning, and there, there it is, snow back in, the, the, back in Tahoe, back in the high Sierra. So that's Tuesday morning right there. Here's Wednesday morning right here, still snowing in California. All right, here's Thursday morning, and look what happens. So that low pushes snow into Utah between Wednesday and Thursday and into Colorado. This is the 23rd of December right here. So some snow for the mountains of Colorado right there. And then let's move into, this is, this is Christmas Eve. This is Friday. Look at that, another storm hitting the Pacific Northwest down into California. This one could have some serious snow for California. That's the 24th. Look at that deep blue there in California. And this is Christmas morning right here. So there's a little bit of snow um, in uh, Wyoming and Idaho and Utah and heavy snow back in California. That's why it's such a good pattern. I think three or four storms lined up for uh, California during that, uh, during that time frame. So let's do my totals in two phases. So between today and the 19th, um, the snow you see in Colorado is mainly happening, is mainly going to happen tonight into Friday. Um, and it's kind of a one to five, one to six inch amount. And there's some moderate amounts through Park City and Alta and Snowbird, kind of a four, five, six, seven, eight inch snowfall there. A little heavier up in Wyoming through the 19th, you can see that. And certainly really good snow up in the parts of uh, Revelstoke and the Banff area down to Fernie. And look at Schweitzer. Man, the blow off from two or three storms is going to really benefit Schweitzer through the 19th. Looking good there in Whitefish. Um, so that's, that's through the 19th. Here is the Christmas stretch. So between the 20th and the 25th, we're going to add a lot more in California. Another three to four feet uh, with those storm systems between uh, Tahoe and Shasta, a couple of feet down in Mammoth. Um, good snow potential there through the 20th, 25th in uh, the Wasatch. And also in Colorado, we could see another 7 to 14 inches during that 5 to 6 day time frame. Uh, really good potential, one to two feet up there in the Tetons. I love that spot, and good snow for the Pacific Northwest. So, I mean, when you look at this in, in total, I mean, the West Coast continues to get nailed with some of these storms then carrying snow into the interior Rockies, and it just keeps the snow coming, keeps it consistent all the way through Christmas. All right, let's look at my wind forecast. This was a big problem yesterday in Colorado. We had like a, a winter, a white hurricane come through. Um, category 1 winds. <laughs> For like four hours in Colorado, uh, Category 2 even in some cases. But 
Um, looking ahead, these are much more reasonable wins on the 14ers in Colorado. You know, topping out 50 to 55, that's pretty standard at 14,000 as uh, you get these little jet streaks that come through. But um, nothing outrageous on any of the major 14ers in Colorado through the 22nd. Um, and then this takes us back to Mammoth. So Mammoth, and this is a, a total accumulation by snow plume between basically today and the and Christmas Day. So, you know, the snow we're getting now, and then we add to that, we're looking at probably 16, I think, from this storm moving through now, which is already happening, and we'll be finishing up today. But um, then you add more to that between the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, we could end up at uh, 45, 50 inches. So... There you go. We've got a good, consistent storm track across the West. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here. Have a great week. Find some powder. Take care.